Hey yeah, it's AJ Miles. This is my very first YouTube video and there'll be many more by content to come. As you can tell by the title, I have an 8am ferry to catch to get my very first motorbike. I need to get all my gear and any essentials. Knowing me, I'll probably forget something and hopefully I'll make it there on time. There's a lot of firsts for me today. It's going to be super nerve-wracking and exciting day, but I'm always up for a challenge. So let's go and do this. Just about made it into the ferry. I'm on the way to Hollyhead in Wales. I have to meet this guy Ed from Ling's Honda Motorbikes. He is the main guy I was dealing with when I bought the bike three weeks ago. So it has very decent review on social media and Google. I personally didn't have such a good experience with him. Originally, it was meant to get delivered to Dublin by their own trusted transporter and then weeks went by and he said it's being created for a freight company. The worst thing is that I wasn't getting any updates at all. I was emailing and messaging them, no reply. My phone calls were being dodged. It was just so annoying and stressful so this is what's happening right now I have to go meet this guy halfway oh my goodness as soon as the bike came out of the van I was like trying to keep my cool I was gonna relax but I was generally super nervous because it's right here and I have to get this over to Dublin without dropping it and without embarrassing myself imagine that Up, sort of waiting yeah. to get delivered and here, like I was busy like selling other bikes and then trying to get through to them and it just ended up yeah sitting over there and not okay. getting sorted so yeah I can only yeah. apologise about the wait that's alright it's okay now we're, we're, but we're it, there, was okay. Like, it was like my heart was slowly aching I was like oh no Ed don't do this to me yeah. Yeah, <laughs> perfect thank you uh <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So now I have to get kitted, I have to put my gear on, and here I am. I'm just so freaking nervous. At this point, I was taking my time to get going because there's these two guys sitting up on the bench and uh, they were staring at me to see if I was actually going to be able to ride the bike so I was even extra nervous but um and then I just kept going and I had the biggest grin on my face like for real oh my unbelievable feeling is finally here finally doing this I'm halfway there halfway through the struggle and yeah so I have to take, go around and maybe I'll go find some place to get a bigger car park where I can, you know, do a lot more practice. I was really trying to figure out the gears and how everything works. It was just frustrating because I'm so new at this and I'm so new at, with the bike that everything, like, I felt like nothing was working out. I was just like, okay, get your shit together and let's get going with this. I have about an hour left. So, I have an hour left to do, to get comfortable, to, you know, do everything that I need to do to make sure that I get on the ferry just alright. This was the very first time I started picking up the speed and as soon as I got a little bit faster, you can hear me here.
this empty car park was the best place to start. Really going around, practicing the brake, the clutch, the gears, the indicators. I was so happy. <laughs> it was just insane. As soon as I sat down, I was looking at the light and I'm like, is this for real right now? Is this actually happening? But it's actually time to head back to the ferry. I have about 40 minutes left to actually get on with no problem. So we better get going. This is the first time I was going back out on the road and I was so nervous. It was kind of a very, very rough start. You can see like my bars are just like shaking. <laughs> and I didn't want to brake too hard just in case I fly out. And I actually got lost so I had to go back. I don't know how I managed that. I'm clearly great at directions as you all know now. I generally feel like I started to get used to everything. Of course, it's still like as it isn't as smooth, but in general, like I'm still figuring stuff out. And I did forget sometimes the indicators. But, um, I'll get used to it for sure. There was a bit of a queue. As soon as I got to the, as soon as I got to the lady, she said that I had to fill out a form to say that. I'd be in quarantine for two weeks and just gave out my details. So that was, I was like, okay, understandable, cool. So I just head head on um, to the ferry now. It's a bit of a trek actually. You have to go through a bridge. It was such a beautiful day. I was like, I couldn't have picked a better day for this. It's just, ugh, I love when the weather is good and I'm first time getting my bike. It's just. Like, I don't know how many times I'm just going to be over the moon. At this point, I actually stalled the bike and there was like, there was loads of people behind me. I was just trying to keep it cool and get going with it. I don't know how I managed that. It was just instant. There was a bit of traffic getting there, but I finally got onto the ferry. Thank goodness. At this point, I really feel like I'm here. I'm here with the bike. I'm ready to take it home to Dublin now. And I was so happy. I, was like, I could do, I could do anything. Of course I could do anything. Look at me go. So what they're telling me right now is that I was meant to be going over the bridge at the top, at the very front. What did you have? Oh, nice. I literally got this today. Yeah. My first time riding it, so I had to take it for a He actually was telling me about his bike, how he had a CBR. And he was just really friendly, and he was even trying, still trying to get like. He was still trying to get trucks and cars on board. But he was just, he wanted to talk to me about motorbikes. And I thought that was so cool because imagine, like, I would never get that if I was riding a car.
they had to find a strap like anywhere lying around and I gave them my jacket and my gloves just to put over the seat so it doesn't mark it and yeah so I, I went back upstairs and I'm hoping and praying to God that the bike was still okay and it didn't drop or it wasn't damaged or anything so nervous I was just like breathing I was, like, I was like for real like imagine if it did drop you know and so I was like thank god I could finally breathe the strap was still on it nice and tight and I nearly dropped it <laughs> oh Imagine. I was trying to get my zipper up and all of the cars were actually going already. So I was, again, the last person out. <laughs> last person in, last person out. And look how smooth I left. I didn't even jerk or anything. I was like, oh, look at me go. Kind of slowed down a little bit there. But I'm so excited to get home. I'm so tired, it's been such a crazy long day but I'm so happy now that I have finally, three weeks later, I finally have the motorbike. You know, I did put in extra effort, extra time, um, but yeah, it's, it's worth it, it's now worth it. Finally landed, finally landed in Dublin. That, that shed over there? This is the place where I actually came in with no bike, just my jacket and my helmet. And now I'm coming out with my, my CB300R. So just I handed my form, all my details, the guy checked it out, see if it was all cool. He was like, no worries. I guess it's just for like a government protocol, I suppose. Maybe they'll call me in like a week or two to see where I am. I'm finally heading home and thank you so much for watching my video please like my video and subscribe to my channel there'll be a lot more bike content to come I'm gonna do a couple of modification I'll take you to my riding journey from the very beginning how I've been getting on um, going through the VRT and things like that so yeah I'll record these things and um, editing this is so much fun so I'll keep going and I'll have more content to come and I'll see you guys in the near future.